Hi, I'm Daniel Granger, Joyco Ambassador and part of the European Design Team. I'm a salon owner near London and been hairdressing for 17 years. Myself and clients are always after the latest tools to use in salon and at home. Let me introduce you to the Joyco Styler. So what makes the Joyco Styler unique? Well, it's equipped with a fuel reservoir, which needs to be filled with the Joyco K-Pak vapor fuel. Controlled heat transforms the fuel liquid into vapor, whilst vented plates release the vapor to let the styler glide over the hair with ease. Deeply infusing the hair with nourishing ingredients. Actually, you style and reconstruct in one. Now that we know that, Let's look at the design and features of the Joyco Styler. Firstly, to allow us to look at the features, we need to unlock it using the button here. This is great for storing and after use. As you can see, the Styler has vented ceramic plates. Why ceramic? Ceramic oil-based nano diamond coating ensures optimal temperature for optimal styling and creates a smoother surface to allow the Styler to glide over the hair with ease. On top of this, we have a tourmaline coating, which ensures the air around the hair contains negative ions. Now this breaks down the moisture molecules, helping it penetrate deeper into the hair. It also features a variable temperature gauge, starting at 150 degrees Celsius for fine and chemically treated hair, and up to 210 Celsius for very thick, coarse hair. There's a temperature for every hair type. You can also use the styler without the vapour function on, but this is what makes the styler unique, so it would be a shame. So the vapour setting can be set to low or high, depending on how much nourishing your hair needs. A few important notes about the reservoir, which is located on top of the styler. Never remove fuel reservoir when the styler is hot. Always wait until it's cold. Then we have the Joyco k pack Vapour Fuel. This is a unique blend of quadrumene complex to help reconstruct. The K-Pak's exclusive hair protection system uses lightweight water-soluble silicones to add smoothness and shine. The styler is developed and tested to be used with this specific fuel so it does not clog or break. Do not use water or any other fluid. Filling the reservoir is a very easy process. Simply pull back on the reservoir's release button and remove the reservoir, then pull back on the rubber reservoir cap and fill the hole with K-Pak vapour fuel and close it again when filled. Then press down on the reservoir until you hear it snap into place. We are now ready to start, so let's switch on the power. It takes approximately 10 seconds for the styler to heat up. What's also handy to know is that the styler includes an auto shut off feature, which means the styler turns off automatically after 60 minutes of non-use. Let me introduce you to my gorgeous model, Heather. Now, Heather has fine, silky, smooth hair, and she likes to wear it with a bit of volume and bounce. So I'm gonna show you the benefits of the Joyco Styler as we nourish, condition, and curl. Here's a quick demo. What we're going to do is create the drop curl with the Joyco Styler. This is done by simply placing the styler into the hair on a vertical, twisting and pushing through the hair shaft, giving us a slight loose wave to add volume and that beachy style. Now what we're going to do is section the hair off just into two parts, simply from around the top to halfway through the back, giving us an easy section to work from the left and the right side. Now, on this side, I will turn the iron towards my body. On this side, I will also turn the iron towards my body. Give me a nice, even movement all the way through.
Use the clips to section away the top. So now we've sectioned off the hair into two sections. We're going to now use the finger glove to ensure safety when pressing on the top of the styler. Because Heather's hair is fine, we've selected a lower temperature and a lower vapour. Now, section medium to thick partings through the hair, working backwards from the front. Elevate the hair out, freehand, place the iron near the scalp area, but not too close. Pop the iron in, hold, twist, hold with the glove at the ends, and drive down the hair shaft, making sure you get those ends in there as well. As the curl drops out, you can see it's shiny and nourished all the way through. Careful not to disturb the curl too soon, as the cooling process is part of what sets it. Now take a second section at the back of the previous curl. You can do this freehand, it works a lot easier and gives you more of a displaced curl. Elevate the hair out, get the styler close into the scalp area, not too close not to burn. Pop it in, twist, holding the ends of the iron with the glove, drive the styler down, paying particular attention make sure that those ends are sealed and curled. Give it a twist at the end. Now remember the cooling process is where the hair is going to set. You can now continue to work consistently into the back, elevating the hair out, placing the styler in, twist and just pop down. A little twist on the way out, remember to get that nice wave. If you do find some of your ends haven't quite cold, go back in, hold that and curl back out. So now to finish off, we're going to use Joico's Power Spray with a whole factor of 8 to 10. It's a non-sticky and non-stiff hairspray. We're going to do this by spraying it onto my palms just to get a light mist. Rub them together, tilt the head forward and just work at the scalp area. This will loosen up all the curls, giving us that little bit more shake. Now this can be done with the head upside down or standing up, depending on how much volume you want at that root and how much you really want to displace that curl that you've put in. It's like giving the head a dry shampoo. Now with a little bit of K-Pak Colour Therapy Restoring Oil, which is really quite light and gentle, just a small amount on the palm. Rub your hands together and really warm that through. And now you can go back and define the curls as needed. Just using your fingers to rake through the hair, gently breaking out, giving it more of a natural feel. Now just pushing the hair slightly forward, adding that real nice beachy curl. This is my beautiful model, Sophia. Now she has naturally coarse, curly hair and sometimes tends to be a little bit frizzy. Now she finds using conventional stylers can leave her hair lacking in shine and a little bit static. I'm going to show you the benefits of the Joico Styler as it nourishes, repairs and smooths all in one. Here's a quick demo. So before we get started on Sophia's hair, which is naturally coarse and curly, we have the Joico Styler turned up to maximum temperature and maximum vapour. This will give us the greatest results. So let's get started. First of all, I find it easier to work in sections. We're going to divide Sophia's hair off into four. Separate the front and the back into two sections, as so. and use clips to secure your section safely away. 
With moderate pressure, run the styler consistently and smoothly through the hair shaft, down towards the length, paying particular attention towards the ends to make sure you smooth them under. So as you can see, the hair is nice and smooth and silky. At the root area, sometimes you get a few flyaways that you didn't quite get the first time round. So just using the back of the iron, simply tap down and that will smooth the remainder of the flyaway hairs. So we've just come to the last section of Sophia's hair. Now remember the top tip, using the styler, just at the root area, tapping away gently, ensuring that we don't burn the scalp. Now we're going to run the styler consistently and smoothly through the hair shaft. Remember to pay attention towards the ends. Styler in with a slight bend, smoothly and slowly gliding all the way down. And there you can see, nourished, repaired and smooth. Now to finish off, another top tip is we see these flyaways that everybody gets. And people ask me all the time, how do I calm those down? Well simply, take your styler, the temperature at the back is enough not to burn the scalp, but just move these little flyaway pieces away, ensuring they stay down in the directed position. Now for my next tip, I'm going to use a product called Humidity Blocker. Now Humidity Blocker has a whole factor of two. It's a hairspray which doesn't weigh down the hair and it does exactly what it says. It blocks the humidity. So for a sleek straight style, this is perfect. Let me show you how I use it. What we want to do is just spray a light mist onto a soft brush. And then just brush gently all the way through the hair, giving it consistency. You can spray on the hair and brush through as well. This will remove any flyaways and hold the style to shine. Just around the hairline, spray directly onto the hairline. Just use the side of the can just to push down any of those stubborn areas. And there we have nourished, smooth, repaired, gorgeous hair. I hope you like. So thank you so much for watching. Now please do check out joycoeurope.com and joycostyler.com. I'm Daniel Granger saying goodbye and thank you.